आई एम एस सतीश थलंगे असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वॉलचंद इंस्टीट्यूट टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर इन टुडे सेशन विद द कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ अर्लियर सेक्शन या टुडे वी विल सी द एग्जांपल ऑन द प्रोबेबिलिटी कंप्लीशन टाइम ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट एज वेल एज अ पर्टिकुलर शेड्यूल्ड कंप्लीशन टाइम ऑफ द पर्टिकुलर प्रोजेक्ट ऑल्सो एट द एंड ऑफ द सेशन द लर्नर विल बी एबल टू डिटरमाइन द प्रोबेबिलिटी कंप्लीशन टाइम ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट व्हिच इज वेरी मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट और कैन से व्हिच इज नेसेसरी फॉर द प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट regarding the status of the particular project these are the formulas for the normal distribution curve that is expected time which is necessary to determine for the expected time for the each activity with which is going to help you to finalize the overall project duration and the critical path the standard deviation and the variance of the particular normal distribution curve this is a table which is showing you the standard normal distributions in which we are observing the deviation or you can say normal deviation that is z and the probability completion or you can say probability in the percentage we have to utilize this particular formulas as well as the particular table for finalizing the uh, schedule completion time of the particular project as well as probability completion time of the particular project let's see the example a project with following activity has been mentioned in this particular table with its three times that is optimistic time most likely time and the prismatic time now as we see we have seen in the earlier session we have to carry out the following steps for determining the a demand what is been asked in the particular question in this particular example they have asked probability of the completion of the particular project within 20 days they are expected to find out the probability completion time of the project within 20 days and also the scheduled completion time of the project for the probability of the project of 75.8% okay now let's start with with the step wise this is a activities and their optimum time we have to determine the particular expected time of the particular each activity with the help of the particular formula that is expected time that is t is equal to to plus 4 tm plus tp by 6 with help of this formula we will define the expected time of each activity and we will go for the construction of network diagram by the aoa method that is a normal network technique which is been uh, represented as shown in this particular slide here the activity time as well as event time are been mentioned with the expected time of each activity when we observe this particular slide we are getting the critical path as 1 3 5 and 6 and the overall project duration is 17 for the particular example now let's see the next step in the first step what we have did we have constructed the normal network diagram we are going for the forward path we are defined the project duration we are going for the backward path and we have defined the critical activities and non critical activity means defining means what we will get the critical activities and non critical activities present in the project with the help of the floats and we get the critical path also now in the second step we have to identify what they expect in this example presently they are expecting to find out the probability of the completion of the project within 20 days and the second they are expecting that or they are need in finding the scheduled completion time of the project for the probability of the project for the 75% here yeah, finding the variance is a third step now variance for the each activity along the critical path yeah what i did we have carried the variance for the each not only for the critical path but for the each activity we are defined and in this particular column that is a last column we are getting the variance and the formula of the variance already it has been mentioned here that is tp minus to by 6 bracket raised to square 
and each activity variance are been mentioned. Now next step is to find out the standard deviation that is a step number four. Find the standard deviation for the corresponding project by considering the critical path from the network diagram. So sigma is equal to square root of sum of the variance along the critical path. Now when we observe the network diagram, the critical path is 1, 2, 3, that is first activity 1, 3, 3, 5 and 5, 6. Means we have to take the variance of this particular activities only because this is a critical path which is the longest part in the overall network diagram. Suppose in the example there are two critical path then which critical path we have to take is we have to select that critical path which is having the large number of critical activities present in the. So in this present example as we observe here, I have mentioned it by the red color. 1, 3 is the first activity which is in on the critical path. 3, 5 is the second activity which is present on the critical path. And 5, 6 is the activity which is present on the critical path. There are three activities which are present on the critical path or lying on the critical path. Now we have to make a summation of the variance of the particular activity. The variance of the first activity 1, 3 is 1, 3, 5 is 4 and 5, 6 is 4. Here, we have to make a summation of, here I have mentioned, variance of 1, 3 plus variance of 3, 5 and variance of 5, 6. 1 plus 4 plus 4, it's 9 and square root of that is 3. Means 3 is the standard deviation of the whole project or the for the present project. Now, up till now, we have got the variance as well as the standard deviation for the project, which is very most needed for the defining the probability completion time of the project or you can say schedule completion time of the project. Now step 5, finding, we will start to find the values or answers for the questions which have been asked. Now the first was the first they need into finding the probability of the completion of the project within 20 days. As we are observing that for the present problem, the project duration is of 17 days. Okay, as we have seen in this network diagram, we are getting the 17 days as a project duration. So they are expected to find out probability of the completion of the project within 20 days. So knowing the value of T S and T. Okay, with the help of the formula of normal deviate that is z is equal to ts minus t by standard deviation, we can find out the value. Here in this example, they have defined the 20 as a scheduled completion time. Okay, so for ts is equal to 20 days and the t that is expected time of completion time of the project is 17 days, which we have already seen in the earlier slide in the network slide. So z is equal to 20 minus 17 by 3. We are getting the z value as 1. That is a normal deviate is z is equal to 1. Now we have to use this table. Here we have to observe the z is equal to 1. Here where we have to observe the column of z. Here 1 is present where here. The 1 is present. And the probability completion is how much? It's a 84.13. With help of this particular table, we can define the probability completion time of the particular project. Now let's move to the our slide. That is step number five. Here from the table, the Z, the probability completion of the project is 84.1. So in this way, we can define the probability completion time of the particular project. Here, one more they require a scheduled completion time of the project for the probability of the project of 75.8. In the year they have asked in the reverse means they are given the probability completion time or a percentage completion time of the project that is 75.8. Now they are interested to find out the normal deviate that is Z value. Yeah, we are observing that we know and we are, they are interested to find out the schedule completion time. 
after getting the z value we are interested to find out the a uh, scheduled completion time of the particular project that is ts now for 75.8 probability we have to find out the z value already i have shown here point plus point 0.7 let's see how it has been obtained okay we have to move to the table this is a table just see 75 point uh, it was 75.8 so it is 70 here we are observing 75.8 and its z value is plus 0.7 means we have to we are in from the earlier case we have to, we, we are find we were finding the probability of completion time by the z value but here with the percentage we are finding the value of z now we are getting the point plus point 0.7 so uh, here 0.7 now place the value of z place the value of t and the standard deviation in and then get the scheduled completion time of the project here by placing the values of all z value as well as t and the standard deviation the ts we are getting 19.1 days or i can say 19 days so scheduled completion time of the project for the probability of project of 75.8 is 19 days in this way we can find out the demand of the particular project and we, we can utilize for the decision making select the correct answers for the particular questions selected the correct answer as highlighted here and these are the references for the today's session Thank you.